Zechariah 4. I gotta say, Zechariah probably goes up there with some of my favorite people from the Bible who just feel like real people, you know? I find it extremely relatable when the angel of the Lord shows Zechariah some new visage or vision. Zechariah gives it his best guess and description of whatever he's seeing and ultimately can't make heads or tails out of it. Ultimately being upfront and honest by pretty much announcing, yeah, I have uh, no actual idea what I'm looking at here. Could you help explain it to me? The word of the Lord explains to Zechariah certain aspects of the end of Israel's captivity and eventually the rebuilding of the temple, making it very clear that this will all only come to pass due to God's grace and endless mercy. The rebuilding of the temple will be a testament to God's faithfulness and goodness in providing a way for his people to return to him. I feel that in this life we often find ourselves experiencing challenging times, even possibly being captive to sin. But just like this chapter says, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. The only way we can ever hope to be free from sin's captivity and return to God is by surrendering our lives to him every day. It's not hard, but I know that we, myself included, need daily reminders to trust in God to see us through whatever has a hold on us in this life. He is the one who can save us, and he is the one who can rebuild us. And hey, if you're like me, and sometimes God is showing you something and you say, I've honestly got no idea what I'm looking at here. We've got the Bible to help us along, and God is perfectly willing to be patient with us as we draw closer to him.